The reason we use oil is because we have no gas, mains gas into the village. The oil spill happened in November 2004 and we were initially alerted due to the smell into the kitchen. And we then, sort of after some investigation, realised it was actually my neighbour's oil tank that had leaked um, 2,500 litres. The initial clear-up uh, started almost immediately by various companies coming out and doing as much clear-up as possible, mainly because they were worried it had gone into the ditches and then into the river. Um, after that, we had um, a vapour extractor installed underneath the house um, to get rid of the smell again. And since then, we've had clear-ups occurring out into the garden where they've tried to extract the oil from the ground. And then last year, they started inside the house underneath three of our rooms, putting pipework in again to extract it from underneath the house. Outside, they initially did two boreholes where they were extract large sort of three foot diameter boreholes where they um, took the oil um, through various pipe works and machinery that initially took it out of the ground and filtered it and cleaned it all up. Um, this went on for about six months and then after that, and once they were happy with that, that they'd got it all, they then moved into inside. Inside was a bit more um, frustrating because we literally lost three rooms, our hallway, dining room and sort of spare room, if you like, downstairs. They had to pack everything away and then lift all the floorboards and again drill down about um, with a sort of borehole thing about th two metres, I think it was, and um, put pipework in, which they then connected up and then re-dug up my garden and sort of took that again to an extraction plant, which is currently running. That has to run for a year um, before they know if they've got all the oil. The effects we've suffered more is um, constantly having people around initially and since then for the last two years we've had people just you know no privacy The only advice I can give to anybody who has got an oil tank is check the age. Anything over 10 or 15 years of age, get it changed. Any tank you are going to go with, make sure it is bunded and that you're getting it from a reputable company and that every single regulation is correct. Um, please don't go through what I've gone through. It just is not worth it.